So in today's video, I'm gonna share a few examples of the images that I have in my stock photography portfolio. Also, I'm gonna show you some of the images that have sold for me since I've been doing stock photography and also share a few examples and ideas that you can use to start building up your portfolio as well. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jonathan Moore. I'm a photographer and a filmmaker, a creative entrepreneur, and I like to make videos like this for other photographers, filmmakers, and creative entrepreneurs out there who are trying to build a life on their terms and get it how they live so if that sounds like something that you're into make sure that you subscribe and like drop me a comment let me know where you're at on your creative journey right now so on today's video I'm gonna keep it pretty short and sweet I'm just gonna be showing you guys a few examples of images that I've been using and uploading onto Shutterstock and Dreams Time since I started doing stock photography. Then in case you missed it, I actually did a video for my very first sale that I got on Shutterstock. I'll just make sure that I leave a link in the description below. You can check that out. All right, so guys, some of the examples that I'm gonna be showing you right now, the first one is that this is a woman in the park. This was actually a friend of mine. This was his wife or maybe it was his fiance at the time, but basically she was doing pictures. She wrote a children's book and she needed to get some bio pictures. So we did these nice pictures of her in the park. Um, I was actually able to get a model release from her for these pictures, so she was actually able to use it not only for her book, but now since I have that model release, here it is a few years later, I was actually able to use it for my stock photography. Also, if you notice out this batch of images, this is one of the images that sold actually on both Shutterstock and Dreams Time. So on Shutterstock, I made a whopping $1.88, and on Dreams Time, I made $2. Now, that's not that bad, but the reality is, is that on Shutterstock, in order to get a payout, you gotta get $30, which is not, you know, impossible. I've talked to a lot of people here on YouTube who've uh, commented on my previous video and were telling me how much that they were making also but the thing I didn't know about dreams time is that you actually got to make a hundred dollars minimum before you get a payout so it might be a while selling two dollar photos the next one that we have here is a couples in the park um, this was actually shot I used both my 35 and my 85 millimeter lens on this one here this is of my friend this is during their engagement portrait session um, this was actually like a homie hookup like I hooked my friend up I was like bro I got you I'll give you some free pictures but in exchange for those pictures I was able to get this model release so now I've been able to take these pictures and upload them onto Shutterstock and onto Dreams Time and onto Cabin um, and I can talk about that one a little bit later so the next set that I'm about to show you guys is basically just of a friend of mine. She's an influencer, I guess you can say on Instagram. We did this nice photo session of her doing some working out in the gym and some different poses. Now we couldn't use all of this or I couldn't use all of this even though she gave me a model release for taking these pictures for her. So this is great because now she can use these pictures for her own digital assets and she can market herself. I can use these pictures and I can uh, you know take them and now I can sell them so here's the thing that sometimes you got to watch out for is make sure you're watching out for logos so that's why these pictures work so well because she has on all black so you got to watch out for logos or you know different types of trademarks also you're gonna need property releases on the gym or not the gym but the place if it's a recognizable place but like if it's a park outdoors and nobody knows like where you're at that's completely fine but if it's somewhere that it has logos or signs you're gonna need a release form for that or you're just gonna to have to Photoshop uh, that up out of the image basically the best way guys if you want to get started is to just sign up onto Shutterstock or dreams time um, They're both free. They're very easy to get started All you have to do is just take your pictures and start uploading them uh, Depending on the type of picture yet yeah, you're gonna need a model release But you might not or you can also release pictures under editorial as well So this brings me to my last point guys that if you are building up your portfolio Let's say that you don't really have a lot of work or let's say that you want to try out something new or you know you just have a cool idea that's in your mind if you have a friend 
who's willing to pose and be a model for you and you can get a uh, release from them, you can get a property release or a model release from them, that is great because now you know that picture is gonna be that much more attractive. Also too, it works hand in hand because if you're gonna be doing free work and you're just gonna be giving them the hookup or the discount, it also gives you a chance to create a digital image that you can sit there and sell possibly for years to come. So you can start making passive income and that way you also have something out of the deal too so it's like you get cool pictures that you get to create your friend gets cool pictures that they get to take it themselves and you possibly get to make a couple of dollars so that's it for me today guys hopefully you found this video useful if so please give me a like subscribe let me know where you're at on your creative journey right now for all my people out there who are trying to build a life on their terms and get it how they live until next time peace i'm out